Greetings, my fellow normies. I hope you're all doing well today. This is a, another episode on one of the Disney Plus Star Wars shows that are coming out. Rangers of the New Republic. There are, you know, discussions about Gina Carano being the star of the show. Um, we're not too sure what this is going to be all about. Um, I will say for, to be honest, I, this Going backwards, so I, I like what they're doing, but at the same time, it's kind of like, I want to know what the hell they're doing, because are they erasing the sequels? What are they doing? Because there's so much that's just all over the place and stuff just doesn't make any sense, but I guess maybe this is the direction they're going and all that, but the Star Wars universe is about to expand exponentially. Disney's 22, 2020 Investors Day was a wealth of information for many reasons, but for those hardened Star, Star Wars fans, the news that Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy passed along was almost too much to digest. Disney and Lucasfilm had plans for 10 new Star Wars series that will be hitting the Disney Plus platform in the next few years. One of those series, The Mandalorian, will be continuing with Season 3, but thanks to The Mandalorian, fans will be getting two spin-offs. Rangers of the New Republic will be one of those shows. Um, best of all, it'll be starring Gina Carano. There's been some controversy about um, certain individuals on Twitter that want to cancel um, Gina Carano um, because she will not... Um, Take the knee to the PC crowd, woke bullshit that we all hear about. Um, Star Wars fans can also thank John Favreau and Dave Filoni for breathing new life into the Star Wars universe. Things look bleak as the final Star Wars trilogy played out, that is, until Favreau and Filoni made their presence known with The Mandalorian. Disney Plus series introduces Din Djarin or The Mandalorian. To his friends, along with a host of other characters, to include Grogu Baby Yoda and Gina Carano's Cara Dune, while official details are few with regards to the Rangers of the New Republic, bets are being hedged that Gina Carano may play a big part in the upcoming series. So Cara Dune is played by former MMA beat down artist Gina Carano and while making a name for herself in the violent but highly watchable sport she has since moved on to try her hand at acting she's been a few mostly forgettable movies but also seen a big films such as Fast and Furious 6, The Heist and Deadpool um, Jenny Carano was immediately hit on The Mandalorian that is until she made a mistake of offering her opinion in age where cancel culture lurks Gina has always been an active voice on social media, but also stirred the hornet's nest with her political views, taking shots at mask mandates, and now anti-vax comments. Cancel culture is aim taking aim, and many times what culture, cancel culture wants, cancel culture gets. So far, though, hasn't gotten anything. It hasn't canceled Gina Carano either. These, these cancel culture people and stuff, <clears throat> people have their rights to their opinion you don't fucking like it tough shit you know go find someone that fucking cares okay there have however been rumors that gina carano will not be allowed to be moved forward in the next in the range of the new republic but that's actually not so um there has already been discussion stuff that um star wars and the the people behind Mandalorian, Favreau, and, and Filoni are very happy with Gina Carano, so, so is her co-stars and everything else. Um, but, um, but yeah, the um, Rangers New Pro Republic plot, as there were with Mandalorian, Favreau and Filoni are developing these two series, which is why the crossover will be happening. But what could this climatic story event B that Kennedy has promised. All signs point to three series building on the rise of the First Order. Favreau and Filoni could be taking their cues from the novel's bloodline, which tells, tells us how First Order formed and its ensuing struggles. Obviously, Gina Carano's Cara Dune character isn't in that, so they'll have to come up with a lot of where 
So this plot heads on their own. Whichever direction Dave Filoni decided to go, they will first need to establish New Republic as one entity along with as its ha hazards. I'm not too keen on this uh, seeing how the First Order rises. I'm not really all that I'm not that um, into the First Order and stuff. I I think that we should go back to a lot of the EU material and bring in the Vong, bring a threat into the into the um, into the universe and stuff. You know, building up the the Jedi Order, um, maybe even a Sith Order and stuff like that. And um, all of these factions all have to come together against one common enemy. And stuff, and that's what happened in the EU books and stuff. Because I'm sorry, but First Order is not, um, it doesn't scare me, it doesn't scare me, and um, I don't really. And now, with the introduction of Grogu with Luke and all that stuff, I don't know what to think now, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's gonna be interesting whatever direction they do take, um. There's going to be a lot of crossovers, too. You're going to have Ahsoka and so on and so forth, you know, too, as well. Um, you know, there's there's just, there's a lot. And I'm going to cover each one, uh, give my speculation on them. Um, there, These are not rumors. These are, these are just what I've read about them and all that. Um, but before we can get more official details on what direction Rangers of the Republic is going to take, Disney and Lucasfilm may need to deal with the Gina Corona fallout. But I don't think the fallout is as bad as they're claiming it to be, to be, to be honest, um, and all that. What is known, though, is that the Rangers, along with the Mandalorian, will have crossovers with another Mandalorian spinoff, Ahsoka, a series that is bringing uh, Rosario Dawson back as Ahsoka Tano. I've got to say, too, um, that's an interesting show. I don't know where that's going to go, but I believe they're going to go after Thrawn and stuff, and maybe the Unknown Region and all that. Um, it makes sense and stuff, and trying to find Ezra and all that, so... Um, Dawson was introduced to fans early in season two episode of the Jedi, and it was such a big hit that Disney was ready to pounce. Um, it was pretty good. Um, I really liked it. There was only like two episodes I liked. I liked the episodes with, with Boba Fett and Ahsoka in them. As of, oh, and Bo-Katan and all that. Um, I even liked um, um, the episode. Um, it went back on Tatooine and all that too as well. So, um, but with all the Star Wars information, is it really too much? Can you really have too much Star Wars, I guess? I don't know, but we're not going to get anything for a year to two years, maybe out anyways. Um, I'm going to be doing other episodes on here too, as well. Um, the, uh, I'm going to talk about the Obi-Wan Kenobi and or the Acolytes, the Bad Badge, Lando. Star Wars Visions, um, a droid story, and of course, Mandalorian 3. Um, there isn't really a lot of entertainment to really talk about, so I'm going to be talking about a lot of Star Wars. So if that's what you like, I hope that's what you enjoy. So um, like, subscribe, share, and I'll be talking to you all later. Bye.